Nathan Judah, I'm here with Wolves reporter Mr. Liam Keane. Liam, West Ham 2, Wolves 0. Try and sum up that. Uh, very, very poor. Once again, it's the same old story, I'm afraid. Mm. Um, Wolves created three chances in about the first 10 minutes, I think that's fair. Um, and as soon as the momentum started to swing West Ham's way, um, the crowd got behind them a little bit. Wolves fell into old habits, retreated back into their shell, and you know, didn't really lay much of a glove on West Ham. They deserved to lose again. No, I mean, look, they started, I guess, pretty brightly for the yeah, first 10, yeah. 10, 15 minutes. And, and look like creating some chances, but apart from that, and you know, the 60 minutes really where the game was won or lost, it was just same old, same old. It was insipid, it was fruitless, the defending was poor. I mean, we'll go on to, I'm sure you'll go on to the formation and where you play to in the personnel, but you just feel for the fans at this moment in time because it's not great watching them. And you just know as soon as West Ham score or any opposition scores, that that's pretty much that because they just don't even look like scoring. Since well, since last season as well, as soon as they go a goal down, they can't get back into a game. No, I said it as soon as that goal went in, speaking to you up in the press box. They never felt at any point like they were going to threaten to get back no. into that game. Um, Insipid is the right word. Uh, you know, I had to feel sorry for someone like Daniel Bedens, who's trying to make things happen. I thought we actually did okay today um, with players around him who didn't, some of them didn't seem particularly interested, if I'm honest. Um, too many of them anonymous. Uh, too many of them hiding and suffered as a result they didn't look anywhere near scoring albeit when Costa came on they did look a bit better got a few crosses in Troy or I thought uh, did well when he came on and off, off the walls forwards aside from Pudente maybe one of the, one of the better ones uh, Gwedda's totally anonymous today so you know it, it, there's very little positive to cling on to here because Wolves were just nowhere near at it again yeah, look, uh, Nevers in the centre back. I actually thought he did pretty well, to be honest. Yeah, but um, look, needs must, I guess. He's questioned some of his teammates as well in, in training at the end of the game tonight, uh, saying that they're not training like they should do in a match. So, you know, they're in the bottom three tonight. Like you say, people missing. I mean, I know Pedro Neto, who looks like he's got a bad injury, but again, didn't see him at all today. Guedes, you know, it's just. I feel like there's no plan at the moment. You know, watching Wolves, it doesn't feel like they've got a plan, they've got a regime, they know what they're doing, and it's just, uh, it's, it's incredibly worrying, I, I think, for, for the team, for the fans, uh, and look, ultimately, for the manager. Yeah, unfortunately, I mean, you know, Wolves, they, they look cute and pretty at times when they have the ball and they play it around, and it's all good keeping possession in a game that you're losing 1-0 or 2-0 in and, and doing nothing with that possession. Mm. Um, I agree with you. I thought Neves did well. I thought Kilman actually did well as well, albeit they conceded two goals. Um, in, in what was a pretty makeshift team, you know, you've got three fullbacks in the squad, all three of them on the pitch. It, it didn't make any sense. You know, Johnny uh, somehow stayed on um, and, and Semedo came off at one point. I, I can imagine perhaps he can come back with his injury, might have something to do with that, but purely on performance, yeah. uh, that baffles me, absolutely baffles me. Um, some of the decisions I just don't get, I really don't. And unfortunately, Albeit there are some players letting the manager down, at the end of the day there's only one person who's going to pay for it and that is going to be Bruno Lars because right now as, as, as we're speaking after, after this game almost 9 o'clock tonight, um, he's under immense pressure and the board no doubt will be having conversations and they will do when a, when a team like Wolves with the squad they've got slip into the, the relegation zone. Well this is, this is a team and a squad that way more than half this league would die for, would kill for, probably like 14, 15 teams to be honest. And yet, end of the day, they're not getting a tune out with him. He's not getting a tune out with him at this moment in time. Is that is that down to some of the players? I think it is. Is it down to him? I think it is. Um, look, he's gone on about getting a strike, and Wolves are a different team with the striker. Look, we've seen Raul Jimenez have been a striker this season, and, and these are the same kind of performances. Diego Costa is going to add something to this side, and he came on and did well. But at the same time, you've got to find solutions. I hate to say the word because it really frustrates me. But you've got to find, you know, the the way to combat that. And you know, okay, Wangi Chan's injured now, and you've got Sasha, and he's injured. You've also got, um, although he's doing well at Anderlecht, you've got your thirty million pound plus striker, but you've loaned him out. So you know, there's been decisions that have been made there. This isn't. This isn't. Oh my God, Wolves are so so unlucky to be in this situation. This is this is of their making, I'm afraid. And uh, look, end of the day, it can't go on. Something's got to give. Yeah. And when you talk about of their making, you look at the centre back situation as well. Um, Dawson played it today. Wolves were about to sign him until West Ham pulled the plug. And would have probably played today. Well, yeah, exactly. And, and because West Ham didn't get a um, didn't get Ben who went to Villa and he didn't get a replacement. So. 
Wolves allowed Bolly to go without a replacement. Mm. For me, that's, that, that's been too nice. Unforgivable, yeah. It's been too nice. And Wolves are left in a situation where they've got two young centre backs, one in Totti Gomez, who, by the way, I thought should have played today 100%. I still think that. Um, even off what Nevers did well, I still mm. think Totti Gomez should play there. I would have um, been, but the end it will play. Yeah, Chelsea. Yeah, exactly, because obviously Nevers is suspended now. But um, you've got a situation there with two young centre backs that have been left on the bench, and, and, and you, you know, they must be scratching their heads thinking, yeah. what have we got to do to play? For me, it's overcomplicating it. It's making the players' jobs and life too difficult. Mm. I understand the personal issue with not having strikers available, and Wolves did. They, you know, Bruno has a point, they look better when a striker came on. But you're paid to find solutions to that, as you say, and they haven't been able to find them. Um, Bruno Large is in a very, very difficult position tonight. Uh, we, we can't put it up any more than that. Um, and there's a decision to make. For my money, he gets Chelsea and he probably gets Nottingham Forest if it's, if it's my decision to make. Um, but of course, we're going to have to wait and see, see what Wolves do. It's, it's, a, it's a huge call. Look, um, sometimes social media is difficult to, to kind of gauge the overall opinion. However, and I think it was probably balanced going into this game. I think even the most rigorous Bruno defenders are, are kind of on the fence tonight. And speaking to the fans afterwards, they're incredibly frustrated. And yes, you can counter counteract that with A, B, C, D, and E that have gone wrong. But there comes a time, Liam, when things need to change. And Fosun will look at it, and they'll look at their squad, and the £100 million pound plus they've spent, and they're not getting a tune out of some of these players that have spent that money on, by the way. Um, and they'll need to make a call because Wolverhampton Wanderers should not be in the bottom three in the Premier League with this squad. It's absolutely astonishing, striker or not. Absolutely, they shouldn't. Um, yes, you know, you can throw in little caveats like the players they brought in, Nunes, Guedes, came in too late in the window and they've not had time to adapt, etc. etc. But these are also players who have played Champions League football, of course they have. have played international football, players who. And just played well, you know what I mean? Players, who should, good be, players, players who should be offering more. Nunes I'm maybe he's been slightly harsh on because, albeit I don't think he was great today, he's shown bits here and there. But Guedes, I, I don't like to pick on players too much if I can, but I thought it was absolutely awful today. And, and he's been like that for a couple of games. And some of these players need to come out. The problem is they've got no one to bring in. Well, the, the thing it's, is, it's a real, it's a real head scratcher because there's players that are letting Bruno down without a doubt, but there's also decisions that are being made that unfortunately are, being, are the wrong ones, are not working, uh, like playing the system and some of the players that, that play today, like Johnny. Bruno. End of the day, Liam, you spend a hundred odd million pounds, more than a hundred million pounds in the summer, and yet you come away thinking, well, the best two players on the pitch are. A 34-year-old striker who hasn't played for six months, and uh, a winger in a Damatrari who'd been trying to flog for for two years. You know, I mean, if that doesn't say what you know, the situation that the Wolves are in, I don't know what does. You can throw Neves and Kilman into that as well, but I, I, I totally understand your point because. But I mean, from Wolves, attacking point no, of view, no, of course, yeah. And Wolves have made signings that so far are not living up to not just the players they are, but the players they could be they've got players with salon value, with potential, but players who also have been there and done it, and right now are not showing it. So, um, do you say, is that down to the managers? The managers not getting enough out of them, but the players letting down, I think there are, it's a little bit of both. Mm. And for me, some of the attention has to be on some of the players that are letting Bruno down as well. And that's why, if you were to ask me if, if it was my decision, I would give Bruno these next two games. But you have to understand fan frustration after watching what, 70, 80 minutes of battle. Well, 78 min 80 minutes, I mean, eight games of it, really, as well. Well, exactly, know? yeah. Which, uh, which isn't great. Uh, look, we'll see We'll see in the next uh, next 40 hours or so. West Ham 2, Wolves nil for the post-match reaction. Make sure you log on to expressandstar.com.